happy mindful monday so we're going to continue with our breathing concepts and ideas there's so many different concepts out there we are here to just teach you a few of them and allow you to find which one works for you so breathing again the reason we do we use our breathing is it resets our body so when we breathe in and out nice and deeply there's a nerve in our brain that gets activated and it activates the rest of our body that we should calm down. So otherwise, sometimes when we shallow breathe, that puts us into a fight or flight um, response. So back when we were all cave people, fight or flight was how they lived, right? They didn't know what was happening. Um, a tiger could pop out. They didn't know when they'd find food again. So they were constantly in fight or flight mode. Well, our brains still kind of have that. But we now realize, because we're living in 2020, um, with a lot of scientific knowledge, that we can teach our bodies to calm down and breathing really helps reset our bodies. So um, we've taught you counting breaths. We've tra taught you some finger breathing concepts. We're gonna continue to teach you more. But the one thing you really need to remember is that nice big inhale and that exhale, properly filling up the lungs and properly exhaling so the lungs deflate. So one way that you can do this to really work on getting that out breath long enough um, is through straw breathing. So if you have a straw, great. If not, um, we'll just pretend like we have a straw. So straws are quite long and you really need to pucker your lips to go around them. So this is why it's called straw breathing. But again, we do not need a straw to do this. So again, we're gonna sit up nice and tall in our mindful posture. Maybe our hands are on our knees, maybe they're on our chest, maybe they're on our belly, whatever's comfortable for you. Shoulders nice and relaxed. And we just think about inhaling, remember the crown of our head growing taller, um, taking that spine and really elongating it up. And then when you exhale, you can kind of just melt down into whatever you're sitting on. So let's give it a go. Straw breathing, we wanna think about puckering those lips and having a nice long exhale. So we inhale, grow tall. And we exhale. So the reason it's straw breathing is straws are quite long and it would take longer for the exhale. So that's what I want you to think about is kind of focus on that exhale, which means you need to take a deeper inhale, correct? So again, sitting nice and tall, we inhale. And we exhale. And I want you to focus on making that exhale longer really deflating those lungs, getting all the air out of your body and then bringing new air in. So it's great that we don't have to wear masks for our virtual PE because there's way, ways we can really focus on our breathing and get some nice clean oxygen into our lungs because we have most of us been in masks all day. So we're gonna try three straw breaths. I often say to people when we're practicing our breathing to close your eyes or take your gaze down to the floor because when you have your eyes open, you're looking around and you're getting distracted. And mindfulness is all about realizing you're distracted and focusing on that breath to bring you a little more focus and calm. So in our mindful posture, eyes closed, our gaze down, shoulders away from our ears. Take inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Focus on making that exhale really long. Inhale. And exhale. And let's try one more. Inhale. And exhale. So hopefully you feel a little bit more calm, a little bit more focused, a little more energized. So straw breathing is kind of just a stronger way of breathing. So we can just do our normal inhale and exhale but straw breathing is really getting that nice big inhale, that nice deep exhale, expelling all the air out. And it's just a different breathing concept we have. Um, thanks. I hope you can use straw breathing today to bring you a little bit of calm and a little bit of focus.